I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS All, your source for open source. Trying out a new operating system can be overwhelming, let alone one that's based on Linux. Keep watching to find out what your first step should be after installing the latest version of Ubuntu. Brought to you by HostGator. Be sure you're up to date. The first thing you really want to do after you install Ubuntu is to update your software and operating system. Um, Nixie, I just installed the most recent version of Ubuntu. What gives? I know, but you need to make sure you have the most recent updates of everything packaged within Ubuntu. This is fast, painless, and can be done from the update manager or even more quickly from the command line. Gotta get your codex. During installation, Ubuntu defaults to free and open source software only. Many of the multimedia codecs needed to play media are proprietary. You can actually get most of them by choosing a checkmark during installation, but if you didn't do that to a slow or non-existent internet connection, you can either install the Ubuntu restricted extras from the software center or by entering sudo apt-get install Ubuntu restricted extras with GStreamer and FFmpeg in a terminal window. Install Flash. Like the codex, Adobe's Flash Player doesn't come installed because it's proprietary. And while you can't watch lolcat videos on YouTube or visit many websites without it, there's really no good open source alternative available today. Searching for Flash in the Software Center will allow you to add Flash Player to your computer. Pretty simple but easily forgotten. Trust me, I've gone through 30 steps to see what's wrong with my Flash when all I had to do was install it. Don't Connect to Ubuntu One. Taking advantage of Ubuntu's free 5 gigabytes of cloud storage and file sharing service has never been easier. It's only a few short clicks away. Clicking on the envelope in the taskbar will bring up a menu which includes Ubuntu One. Here you can set up your account, allowing you to sync pictures, music, videos, documents, and anything else your little heart desires across multiple computers, Windows, Linux, and mobile alike. Get my Unity to tweak your look and feel. While Ubuntu is quite customizable, sometimes it's difficult to find the various tweaks available to you. The My Unity application gives you a single, easy place to go configure Ubuntu in a variety of different ways. Most importantly though, shrinking the size of Unity's gargantuan launcher buttons. One thing I really dig about Ubuntu is you don't have to go through all these unnecessary steps to get your OS looking, feeling, and running how you like it. What do you do with your first few hours of being on a new operating system? Let me know in a comment below, and until next time, thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. Now it's time for, you guessed it, some sponsor love. Seriously though, I've been with HostGator since my first blog post in 08. With Linux-based servers and plans starting at under four bucks a month, you get 24 seven support and access to tons of website building tools. HostGator has gone green and is 130% powered by wind energy. Did I mention they'll even migrate your current site for free? For OS Alt viewers, HostGator is offering 25% off your order or your first month free. Just go to HostGator.com and when you check out, enter the code NixieOSAlt.